the big guy's shedding his skin. Pulls it off the back to the front and then swallows it. He like kicks his legs up and then he'll pull it forward. So you see going in his mouth right there is his skin. Those big old nice teeth. He's still just a juvenile, six months old. Hate to see him eat that cocoa fiber with the skin, but he will pass it. That good stuff, buddy. Nice and shiny now. He is a really awesome frog. I really enjoy him a lot. There's his little female counterpart. Give you a quick look at the tank here. Just live pathos. They've really taken off. I just started with a couple little shoots. Zoom out here a little bit. Right, so a little water, little land area where they can bury with about, um, probably about eight inches, a little more of eco earth. Just water area with a filter. Use uh, dechlorinated tap water. It's hard waters with the minerals and stuff. It's actually pretty good for these frogs. Uh, common misperception. You never want to use distilled water because the minerals and stuff that's in the water is actually good for the frogs. Anyways, here's the big fat female. My original frog, but if you watch my YouTube videos, you'll see that's her. She'll probably jump if I get too close. She's a little bit more flighty than the others. So I've got that female. She's a blob. That female up there. And then one back there in the back. And you can see the size difference there of that male back there. He is the same age as this female. And that female, they, I, I want to say they were probably born in May or June. I got them late June, early July. Well, I got her late June, and those three, I think July 6th, July 4th, July 6th, somewhere right in there. And they grow like weeds. They eat a lot. And this gravel down here is not a great idea. Just because if it does move around with the filter, they might eat it and ingest it and they'll get impacted they can get impacted and actually my little ornate horn frog is impacted right now just past a turd so she's on her way here she is down here she's on her way to being getting healthy but I've been soaking her for a couple days in honey solution trying to get her to crap and she's still trying to a little bit you probably can't see there but she's got a little bit of crap hanging out of her butt kind of gross but anyways that's her him or her, I don't know if it's a male or female, but that's the frog anyway. And back to this guy, he's just finishing up his skin meal, kind of nasty, but they're, uh, it's cool too, it's really interesting, these frogs are super interesting. And she jumped down here because when I feed them, I feed them up here on the eco-earth, but I never like to feed them when all of them are up here, I try to catch them one at a time. Just because this big guy 
has started grabbing onto the females if there's movement. It's not like a predatory thing at all. He just, he sees movement and he goes after it when there's crickets around or, or earthworms or... That's basically my staple is dubia roaches, tong fed one at a time, earthworms, and then a cricket for a treat every now and again. Oh, and there's a good little catch. She just got a cricket back there. Anyways, these are giant African bullfrogs. Scientific name is Pixacephalus aspersus. Really awesome frogs. I enjoy the hell out of them. Anyways, he's pretty much done. We'll leave him be. Just come down to turn out the lights tonight, so figure I'd make a quick video because I saw him shedding his skin. Anyways, this is D Dub is usually what I go by on my on the forums and stuff. If you go to fatfrogs.7.former.com or frogforum.net, get on there and talk about bullfrogs, Pac-Man frogs, whatever you want. Anyways, have a good night.